Hi guys, welcome to Bumbling Panda and to the first week of the 10 Dresses in 10 Weeks Summer Sewing Series. This week we're going to be making this Fit and Flare Floral Pleated Dress. I'm so glad I said that right. Okay, so I don't know what I'm doing. I'm probably distracted with my cell phone like we all are. So yeah. Oh, okay, I guess it's time to pose now. <laughs> Alright, so I'm sick of looking at my face. Let's move on to the tutorial. For this project, I'm using one yard of a very stretchy knit fabric. I start with the piece folded in half, making sure that it stretches sideways. Then I use a dress that fits me almost perfectly to cut out my two bodice pieces. If you don't have a dress that fits you perfectly, since obviously you're making one, then you can also use a shirt that fits very well to trace the bodice. Just be aware that since the fabric you're using is stretchy, you're going to have to take that into account when you cut out the fabric, if you're using a shirt as a guide. I folded the pieces in half and clean up any rough edges. Next I take one piece and put it aside and I take the other piece, fold it in half and drop the neckline by a few inches. This will be my front piece. I also cut out facings for the neckline because I like the way that this finished look looks. So to do that, I just cut out a strip of fabric that matches the neckline exactly, and this is what it'll look like. And then I place it down, um, making sure the right sides are facing, and pin it to the bodice. Of course, I'm going to do the same to the back piece as well. So again, cut out a facing that matches the neckline exactly. Then pin that facing, right sides facing, to the bodice, and then you're going to sew the facing to the neckline of the bodice. I feel like I should sing you guys a song here, but I'm going to spare you. Next, I folded the facing over so that the wrong sides are facing and that seam is covered, and I'm going to top stitch the neckline. This is what it looks like, and it's awesome! And of course, I repeat the same step to the other neckline. Once I'm done, I place both bodice pieces right sides together and sew the shoulder and side seam. Now it's time to cut the skirt piece. So pretty much, I just use what was left of my yardage, and of course, I make sure all the sides and the bottoms are even. So the skirt was about 10 inches wider than my bodice, which was why I had to create the pleats. You can also do a gathered waistline depending on what you want. Um, the width really just depends on how flared or how flowy you want your hem to be. Then I placed both pieces right sides together, pinned the side seams, and sewed where I just pinned. Look, it's a crop top. <laughs> um, anyway, then I take the bodice and insert it into the skirt, right sides facing one another. So whether you're doing a gathered waistline or a pleated waistline, just make sure that the side seams line up. And then you're going to pin and sew the bodice to the skirt. So this is how my pleats turned out. What I did was make sure that the side seams matched up and then I folded whatever excess fabric was left on the skirt to the bodice and I made sure that all the pleats were even. It's a little tricky and you just kind of have to play around with it depending on how wide your skirt is compared to your bodice. The front piece actually has four smaller pleats and then the back piece only has two relatively wider pleats. Then I finished the bottom with a rolled hem and I top stitched twice to create two rows of top stitches. 
To finish these sleeves, I made cuffs. And to do that, I cut out a length of fabric that is the same length as my sleeve. Then I folded it in half, right sides facing, and sewed down the side seam. Then I folded the cuff widthwise, like so, and pinned it to the sleeve, right sides facing. Then of course, I sew the cuff to the sleeve. And obviously, I do the same to the other sleeve. And that's it. You're done. Yay! Dress. This is what the dress looks like when you're done. Yay! To see more pictures of the dress, please visit my website, bumblingpanda.com. And to also see a complete schedule and pictures of the other dresses that are coming up in the series. Thanks for watching, guys. And I will see you next Tuesday for the next tutorial.